Like I always decide what we're having for dinner. I want you to do it. You can't pick out what we want to eat for dinner. No! What's going on everyone? We are back. Um, just kind of showing you guys a little preview of the, the nitrous setup I got going on. Um, just a little ball valve right here so that way I can keep the bottle open in the back of the car at all times and open and close it from right here um, it's kind of just like another safety uh, I guess precaution uh, along with making sure that I'm running the right bottle pressure instead of uh, you know checking it in the back of the car instead of you know just hoping the pressure stays the same I know what the pressure is at all times on top of that, you know, if the solenoid gets stuck open or whatever, I can always shut it off, purge it all out. Hold on a second. Dude, you're in my video. Get out. Try my strawberry. <laughs> Alright, back to what I was saying about the nitro stuff before my girlfriend interrupted. Uh, got most everything ran. Um, this is the main feed line right there. Uh, I had to move some stuff around. I want to make a new purge. Um, and this is actually leaking. And I had already contacted Nitrous Outlet. And uh, their customer service is amazing. Um, and they basically gave me like a huge step-by-step -step process on how to take it apart. So that's probably going to take that apart in this video. And I need to get my... A uh, fuel cell mounted right, you know, somewhere in this area, and I kind of want to make it. Obviously, I'm going to use something other than this, but it's probably going to have two. Let's see if I can balance this. Probably going to have two bars going, you know, towards the outside of the car. Maybe one here, you know, some one over here. I'm probably going to make, make another bar going down to connect here and then probably across too and try to make some little like cubby hole almost to go ahead and mount this thing. Um, I was thinking about getting real thin like rod uh, to do it and then just making tabs off it but depending on how this how strong this is after I get done I might just use this because I got it laying around and I got a bunch more of it. So that's probably what this video is going to be about. So stick around. Hope you guys enjoy. I realize that the filter and the pickup for the pump sits on the back side of this. Not, you know, I thought the pump might have been straight up and down. Um, which, wow, I need to clean this thing out a little bit. Um, so now it's going to go ahead and sit in there sideways like this way so I'm gonna go ahead and make it so I'm gonna go ahead and make it fit down in there so it fits kind of probably probably about there um, I'm gonna have those you know support bars going this way I wanted it kind of over the middle of the bar more so it can be you know more uh, distributed with the weight of it uh, but I'm probably gonna make it the bars go this way and then make a piece come down from here and connect down here and then go across um, if it gets kind of weird I might make like a little slot back here that you just slide this whole thing in I'm not sure yet we'll see how it gets I'm gonna go ahead and weld these on and see what happens All right, we're back a couple days later, getting ready to mount the fuel cell. Been watching racing all night, so I'm getting ready to get going on this.
got it in there kind of where I want it I got to make another bar back here and when I make this bar that sits underneath here it's gonna sit underneath here like that I'm gonna make another support from right here down to this bar so it's gonna come down and then under and then connect to everything else should be plenty strong uh, even without any like the welding is not being done it's it's pretty sturdy so I have faith we'll see what happens if I run over it I run over it all right I wanted to give you guys a little quick update before my camera dies and I go uh, edit this um, I got my let's see I don't know how well that's gonna turn out basically got all my brackets made I need to obviously put the nuts on the other side and tighten it down I still have to make the bracket that comes right here and connects down to this. Uh, basically, it's just going to make it a lot more stable. Uh, and then, I just wanted to show you, this is the feed line I got going up here. I'm just going to 90 it into this feed. Um, this is a, a gauge for it. I really want to move this gauge up to somewhere along the dash. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't know if I can flip it and angle it a certain way so I can see it underneath the hood still. Uh, just so I know it's got fuel pressure, obviously, when it needs it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this quick little update. Show you guys I'm, you know, I'm still working on the car. It's still in the process of getting ready to run good. Uh, it runs pretty decent on motor so far. I don't have any times or nothing. Um, but, you know, I'm almost done with the nitrous system. Um, I still have my solenoid. I ordered a wrench for it, like a, you know, like a spanner wrench for these two, I guess, shank, or whatever, shank holes, whatever you want to call it in there. I got to take it apart. I think the piston might be dim dimpled in it, because it is leaking. Um, but as soon as that's done, get all this back on there. I know nothing else in the nitrous system leaks. Um... So as soon as that's on there, probably test it with a 50, make sure everything works, and then uh, go ahead and start turning it up from there and see what I can do about uh, setting this up and <clears throat> seeing what it runs. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy uh, watching me mount this. So uh... All right, I just want to show you guys real quick uh, of it being completely finished. Um, I said before I was just done at the time, but I wanted to actually finish it and show you guys. Uh, this is that bar that I made that connects to this bottom bracket. Um, and this thing's got fuel on it now. And like putting almost all my body weight on it, it like hardly moves. Um, it turned out pretty good. I don't know if you can see the welds or anything. Um, <clears throat> I just have this power wire connected. Uh, and then this ground connected over here. I want to find a new ground or make like another panel. A flat panel over here like I did right there for grounds and stuff um, but I got the feed line running right here and I ended up putting this 90 on the gauge and angling it up like this because now when I'm in the driver's seat I can see <laughs> I can see like the very top half of this gauge so I know it'll have fuel pressure um, I ended up talking about some stuff with the solenoid I did take it apart um, there was a lot of trash in it, so I got the trash all cleaned out. Uh, I had sent pictures and stuff to Nitrous Outlet, and they got back to me in like two minutes, and were like, no, it looks good, just clean it out, make sure it's good. So I ended up doing that. I made a new purge line that goes all the way up here. Um, it's just zip tied right now, but basically the Nitrous system's ready to go besides, <laughs> besides this one fitting back here that I thought I had but I do not have it. Um, so yeah, just stick around, wait for me to spray it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, it runs decent on motor, like I said, but hopefully uh, if it picks up gains like it did before on the bottle, uh, then it should be an interesting summer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, look forward for more. Thanks.